Now, on to Washington. In just 10 days, the federal government will be out of money to do many of the things that it does. Today, the Republican-led House passed a funding bill, but it has no chance of passing in the Senate, controlled by the Democrats. That's because the bill would cut off all the money for Obamacare. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill tonight. Nancy, what happens now? Well, now, Scott, the Senate will likely try to strip out that measure defunding Obamacare from the bill and send it back to the House. At that point, we will be very close to the deadline, and House Republicans will have to decide how far they want to take this fight. House Speaker John Boehner held a pep rally of sorts today, urging skeptical Senate Republicans to pick up the baton from their House counterparts. So our message to the United States Senate is real simple. The American people don't want the government shut down, and they don't want Obamacare. Yeah. The joint resolution is passed. It came after every House Republican but one voted for the bill, which was championed by House conservatives like Louisiana's John Fleming. Uh, all we need is a couple of Democrats over in the Senate, maybe three or four even, and we'll sit it on the president's We're desk and be ready to go. But the leader of Senate Democrats, Harry Reid, has already made it clear there will be no defections on his side. Any bill that defunds Obamacare is dead, dead. It's a waste of time, as I've said before. If Congress fails to fund the government by October 1st, national parks, museums, and monuments will close. Essential government employees like air traffic controllers and U.S. troops will have to work temporarily without pay, while workers considered non-essential will be furloughed, causing delays on services ranging from IRS refunds to passport processing. This place is a mess. House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi board. argued Republicans are aren't just courting a shutdown. Do They're trying to deprive millions of Americans of affordable health insurance. Either you don't know what you are doing, or this is one of the most intentional acts of brutality that you have cooked up with stiff competition for that honor. But House Republicans say they're being deluged by complaints from their constituents about the president's health care law, about being kicked off of their company health care plan. And they see this, Scott, as their best chance to fight the law before those public health care exchanges go into effect for patients in just 10 days. Thanks, Nancy. So how did the president react to this? Well, here's what he said today in Missouri. I mean, I don't mind them disagreeing with me. They don't like the Affordable Care Act. They'd rather have people not have health insurance. You know, I'm, I'm happy to have that debate with them. But you don't have to threaten to blow the whole thing up just because you don't get your way.